Today we're going to be making the saloon. This saloon is made, uh, based off the one from Red Dead Redemption in the city of Armadillo. And uh, just to give you a quick overview. Got some water for the horses, some wood, spare wood lying around, an outhouse in the back, some bushes, even a second floor. Take a look on the inside. Got tables, some alcohol behind the bar, a clock, some red carpeting leading up to the second floor, rooms where, uh, where people can stay. This would have been the room where you would have stayed in Red Dead Redemption. And in the back behind the bar, we have a, a, the poker room. This build is, um, I usually make builds a little simpler than this. This one's a little bit complex. Uh, I have included blueprints that will be displayed throughout the video so you can pause it. Uh, also, I'll provide a link so that you could download the pictures and put this together on your own time without having to look through the video too much. Well, anyway, let's get started. So here's the first layer or first level of the saloon. Um, uh, the best advice I can offer you is just to follow the blueprint. Uh, all the different types of wood are, are, are laid out. Uh, here's the back, got a couple bushes there. This will be the outhouse, uh, back door, uh, another little room, looks like a, like a closet or a shed. Uh, so anyway, just check out the blueprint and uh, this is, this will give you an idea of what it looks like when, when you're done. Here we have the second and third layers added on. Uh, you can see the doors, the windows over here. Um, because it's hard to build on an angle in Minecraft, I just made the doors 90 degrees to each other and uh, the bonus is at least you get more a higher count for villagers. I've instead of putting a window, I've put doors here. Again, this just brings up the count for villagers. In the end, when you have your your village going, you're not really going to care if it's a window versus a door, uh, and more more so bringing your villager count up. Just doors around, everything's built up. Again, check the blueprints. All the different types of woods are labeled. And uh, this is just to ensure that your saloon is coming out the way you want it to. Okay, now we're on to the fourth layer of the saloon, or the fourth level. And most of it is made up of half oak wood slabs. Uh, for example, here is, the, is a full slab, full slab here where all the posts come up from the ground. Uh, other than that, every, mostly everything is half slabs. These birch wood pieces are full slabs, as you can see. Um, and that's it. I'll be adding in the carpet at the end, so for the moment just don't worry about the carpet. Um, some other little details. Most of the essential details are listed in the blueprints. If you find a discrepancy between the video and the blueprints, stick to the blueprints because I've made this a few times in order to help me save time on, on cutting video and whatnot. So that's it. That's the fourth, the fourth layer or the fourth level. For the fifth layer, it, we're basically just setting the foundation for the second floor. 
Here's just a quick overview. All the doors are in place. Closet doors, uh, doors to the hallway, a few fence boundaries for the, for the balcony on the second level. Fairly simple, and again, it's just setting, uh, setting the foundation for the second floor. So we're getting close to finishing this building. We've done the 6th and 7th layers, as well as the, the beginnings of the rooftop. Again, all of this is in the blueprints. You can go back and pause it, or even download it from the link listed below. And you can just follow those. This is just to help you verify that you've done everything right, and that you've got the general idea of what the, of what the saloon looks like. And next we'll be putting on the roof. The roof we're going to be making out of jungle wood. Mostly stairs and slabs. So let me just squeeze this in here. No, I'll have to do it from above. There we go. Stair, slab, stair, slab, stair. And just repeat the pattern on this side. Stair, slab, stair, slab, stair. There we go. Let's bring this out just one one block. Okay, and that's that's how you're gonna make the. We're just gonna continue this pattern straight across to the other side and stop exactly in line with the stark wood. We're not gonna have it uh, overhanging or hanging over uh, just just directly above the wall. So I'll just continue this pattern. Stairs straight across. And there's the entire first piece of the roof. The next part of the roof is off to the side here. Jungle wood stairs. Uh, slab, jungle wood slab. Again, jungle wood stairs. Jungle wood plank. And just repeat the pattern going down the other side. Stairs and planks. And then just have it jut out one block. There we go. And that's it for this piece. For the roof. It's just jungle wood slabs, and all we're going to do is fill in the spaces. Just, there we go. And for the, as far as the outside of this building is concerned, we are done. We are finished. We've completed everything that we're going to do on the outside. And now for some finishing touches on the inside. Here at the bottom of the stairs, I like to place red carpet up here too. And finally at the top, right up to where this birchwood uh, line is 
just right up to there. Let's head back into the poker room. Back here. And I like to put some green carpet. Makes it look like a poker table. Next, some brown carpet. Again, for the carpet on the floor, you can choose whatever color you like. I found in this case the brown carpet matches the nicest. But, you can do whatever you like. Not the first room, but the middle and last room. I'm just gonna put down some brown carpet. Here too. Next we're gonna build a clock right here. So, standing right with this dark oak wood slab, or um, uh, where these dark oak wood planks are, stand right on that space, a door here, which is on the outside of this other square, again another door here, got two doors side by side, dark oak wood at the top, and trap doors on either side. Okay, a clock. That's right, we need a frame and then a clock. And there you got a nice clock on the wall. Here we'll get some iron bars. And there it is, a nice, a nice clock. Our put up frames. Leave a space in there. Uh, in the game, in Red Dead Redemption, there's a picture here. These are going to be representing the the liquor bottles. So, just put different colored potions in each of these frames. And kind of makes it look like there's a bar here. And there you go, there's the bar. For the final touch, seeing as we're using this saloon as a building for villagers, I want to make use of these doors. You see, these doors are on the inside and therefore don't count towards, as a house towards the uh, total population of the village. So, right above this door, here and here, I'm going to place some glass blocks. Again, over here. The reason why is because with sunlight coming down on this side, one side having sunlight and the other being covered, this door now counts as a house, as does this door because of the block right next to it. This door also becomes us. So we've just added, added three houses to our village. We're gonna do the same thing in here. Now, now we're really lucky because we have all these, the closet doors here, the door, uh, well that's already counted. So this will actually bring our count up again by three. Two doors here. And since it's within a five block line of this door, these will also help towards the count for this door. Once again, and here we go, one, two, and three, well, actually that door is already set, so we don't need it. There we go, three sets of sunroofs. And we are done. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. And if you do, please subscribe and have fun building.